Hurt? Massy? Alright, this effect is super simple. What you're gonna do is you put your uh, clip in Vegas or whatever editing software you have. I haven't done this effect in other softwares. I know it works in Premiere. It definitely okay. Well, it definitely works in Premiere and After Effects. I just haven't used them before, so it's gonna be different. There's probably tutorials out there. This is just for Vegas. So you're gonna find your kill, put velocity on your kill. You can put an effect on. I'm just not gonna do that right now because I don't want to. Put an effect on it, right, and then split the clip, and then go to where you want the effect to start, and then split the clip there. You could do it closer to the kill, like here or something. It just looks really bad in my opinion, so I go pretty far away from the kill, so this is perfect. And then what you're going to do is click on uh, this, Control u Control c v and then put it on top, right? Just so you unlink it and everything. Uh, you could put like a shake here if you want, like you could split here and here, and then a shake. It looks clean, I'm not going to do it for the tutorial because I want to keep it nice and short. Um, but yeah, so then you're going to need BCC plugins for this put BCC colorize on the top one. Now it's going to look really weird. That's okay. And then you want to go down uh, go over to here, event pan crop, mask, zoom in or you don't need to, but and then this does not have to be perfect at all. Just make like a circle around the character, Thanks. but it doesn't really matter. And then what I found for feather cuz you need to screw around with the feather type up here. You could do in or out. I chose both and it looks pretty good. Uh, put it up to like 15 or something. 15 to 20 is normally pretty good. And then what you're going to do, that's literally all you have to do for the mask, except for the fact that you have to just track it. So, like, just find when it goes out of frame. So, like, here. And then you can, like, just drag it up or whatever. And then just keep doing that until it uh, kind of keeps it goes out of frame. Like, this does not have to be perfect at all. Um, and I'll get on to the next step in a sec. Okay, so the next step would be to go into FX and then you need this on you can like add, like I said a shake here but you need to redo you need to do a mask for this part and then a mask for this part too as well but uh, I'm not gonna do that so go into here and literally just copy what I'm about to do It might not look the best, you can really just play around with the feather if you want. And then what I would do, you can either add a shake before kill, um, if you want, or you can literally just do a simple, like, thing like this, where it's, hold on, I'll show you, just keyframing and stuff, where it goes from light to dark. I should probably just do this, there, and then you get like this, I'm gonna, I'll pre-render it for you. It's going to look bad because I didn't have a shake to actually go into it, but you can do that yourself. It takes literally two seconds. And then you get this. And yeah, that's it. I got some cash in my pocket, I'm killing it. I'm going fast, I ain't talking about dealerships. Nobody real is me, nobody real is it. Shawty was feeling me, yeah, she was feeling it. I stay away from the haters and fakes. My gut feeling, don't ever mistake. Only chase one thing, that's the money chase. Ain't shit sweet like a bread.